you guys are going to be blown away on the topics that we cover today i am extremely excited for the new gpu from amd in comparison to an rtx 4070 and it is the exact same price now if you're just listening to me i'm going over all the articles right now just showing you the titles of everything there is a lot of stuff to cover however there's one thing i want to make a quick note about and if you watch this i really appreciate it I am always open to taking feedback on improving this channel, okay? But when things do not work and the feedback that I am given does not perform well, then I'm not going to continue doing that. And the one comment that really stuck out the other day is you like scripting out these articles and breaking them down is taking the life out of the content. So I'm just saying, dude, like if you, if you don't like my videos and the style of me just chilling, hanging out and covering topics that I find interesting, then you do not have to watch my videos. You can go find somebody else. Okay. You're never going to be able to please everybody. So this right here, the AMD Radeon, ugh, the AMD like that right there, like why cut out a mistake? It is what it is. AMD RX 7900 GRE review. This is the best AMD GPU this generation. And the reason that this thing is so good, man, is because it is competing with an RTX 4070's price. But it is literally like 25% better in gaming. That That's extremely... That's... that's for the same price, we haven't seen that in NVIDIA versus AMD in a long time. So it's an, ex it's an excellent value. It beats the RTX 4070 literally like 90 percent of the time it has 16 gigabytes of vram and it is surprisingly capable of 4k gaming the only cons is that fsr is pretty bad it doesn't work very well which yes i know it's a fake super sampling resolution stuff but at the end of the day man you know what let's be honest most games nowadays are releasing pretty poorly optimized okay so with fsr not being very good that kind of is a big deal and then the other thing is that ray tracing performance still falls a bit short and i'm gonna go ahead and toss this out there from what i have seen that's an understatement a bit short that that's a pretty big understatement the, the rtx 4070 is going to dominate this card if you enable ray tracing but at least for me ray tracing isn't really I'm not saying there's not a notable noticeable difference because there absolutely is but is it worth the perform is it worth the actual performance drop when you enable this thing you know the only cards that i would say are worth it for ray tracing is the rtx 4080 and the rtx 4090 it's just kind of how it is but anyways these are the specs that you're seeing on screen right now this forgot to say to like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff 7900 gre the 7800 xt and then the 7900 xt we got the compute units the ai accelerators ray tracing accelerators the memory memory bus size game clock speed connection support total board power and then the list price of the this actual graphics card now right here you can see the performance and this is why people are so excited for this graphics card we have the rx 7900 the rtx 4070 7800 xt and all these other graphics cards so there's that one and then you can see this is a 3d mark port royale and you can see right here and then we go to 4k gaming and this is where this thing is blowing this and this is where that this is a terrible example this is 61 and 57 but all right so if we come here so we got red dead redemption 2 so here's so this is 4k so i don't know i don't know if this is not then there's not big, that big of a difference because it's in 4k but this is a decent bump returnal it's about 10 fps more forza horizon 5 we got so we got okay here's the normal 4070 so we got about 25 fps more horizon zero dawn again another, about 10 fps more cyberpunk 2077 they we got another about whatever about 10 more last of us again 10 more you can see it's at least to me that's what is that that's like a 20% I'm terrible at math but um this right here this is a bigger jump it's about 15 fps more and the 1440p 
So this is where you're going to start seeing a much bigger difference. So we got about 20 FPS more and then come here. We got again, 20 FPS more this 30 FPS more. And this right here, we got again, 30 more. So you can see, man, like when you, when you bump down that resolution to 1440p, this is where you're seeing a bigger difference. And I'm guessing that most of us play games at 1440p still, dude, I got, I got two 4k, 240 Hertz monitors and a 4k, 120 Hertz TV. And I still play games at, at 1440p most of the time. So I just, I think that this is very cool, man, that AMD is like stepping up this much. Like this is a big 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 performance boost for amd this is outrageous man and i think most of you can agree so if we come now to the 1080p averages so we got about 15 fps more when it comes down to uh 1080p ray tracing fsr this is where again it, nvidia is going to dominate across the board it's just it's kind of how it is man it's ray tracing ray tracing x ray tra i don't know what does the x stand for Ray tracing X. What does X stand for? But uh, yeah, man. How many of you have actually gotten your hands on one of these? Because they don't have them on Amazon in America. So anyways, this right here, quick update regarding the MTech unveiling the RTX 40 Super Series cards in white. I think that's a pretty clean aesthetic looking graphics card. And if it's not obvious with like pretty much every single computer that I build, I'm very much into the aesthetics over basically everything else. So I do like the way this look, looks. So we got the 4070 Ti Super, we got the 4080 Super. And I don't know. I kind of like the 4080 a little bit better. I think this little whatever venom, whatever acid, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever cyberpunk feel, whatever that, whatever you want to call these little acid bubbles. They, like the what are those weight things called where like you the like if i want to measure evenly and if it's off the little bubble thing like floats i forget what those are called this one's nice right here the blue i'd prefer that blue all day long 47 i don't like two fan cards i don't know i just don't like them yeah i see a lot of people complain about the 40 series and how big they are but the thing is dude is like at least in my opinion I like the way that looks. I like the way a 4090 looks in a computer. I think that that looks good in a Lee and Lee case. It's yes, it's massive. It's a it's a bit, it's a fatty. It absolutely is. But like then you take a little 4060, these dual fan card, dude. It looks so awkward. Even the 3080 and 3090 in a computer. Maybe it's just because I'm used to building computers with these gigantic graphics cards in them. I got a bunch of boxes on all that stuff. So I'm not going to take the other graphics card out. But I think that that looks cool. It's just me. But anyways, next article, AMD Ryzen 7900X 3D 12 core CPU with 3D Vcache is now available at $400. That's that's a good deal for this uh, CPU. So you see right here over on Amazon, we'll click this link and it's 400 bucks. It's 33% off. That's $200 less, dude. And uh, we have actually, is this the... I don't want to go into my orders. Oh, look at that. My video. I already reviewed. Let's show you. Oh, that was loud. Oh, there's my video. Here's my video. <laughs> That's so cool that I make Amazon videos for companies. It's super sick. It's super fun. I love doing it. But uh, so the next article here, AMD confirms limited overclock of Radeon RX 7900 GRE, which is bug and then the fix is incoming. So really, that's really all I need to go over. Overclocking the Radeon RX 7900 GRE is very similar to the other RX 7900 series cards. So you can see right here what, what they're talking about. I don't want to make this video super, super long for you guys. And then right here, the overclock performance in 3D mark time spy probably one of the the most like trusted channels and yes your boy is subscribed to hardware unbox i like them they're cool i don't know are they like brothers that's like something i'm curious about i don't know if they're brothers or not though so this is an update regarding the nvidia rtx 50 series cards this is pretty much the only part here that we need to cover so this is the process node we got the architecture we got the chip we got the memory type we got the maximum bus bandwidth and then we also have the, the dis display connectors but really other than that we don't really need to cover this article as you can see here it's mostly just going over stuff we've known at this point 
this right here is just something interesting that I thought was pretty cool. So revolution, revolution, ugh, that's a tongue twister. Revolutionizing real-time data processing, the new dawn of edge AI. And the part that we need to read is researchers have created an edge computing device aimed at overcoming the limitations of conventional cloud computing, enable quicker data processing with reduced computational expenses. And then if we scroll down, we can see the design of this thing, which is, uh, that's, it doesn't make much sense to me. I'm just being real with you, but I'm sure I'm ever, according to the YouTube comments, I'm supposed to understand this. <laughs> the device consists of an SN doped N203 and M NB doped SRTI-03, ITO, NBSTO, GND, ground, junction that demonstrates the ability to control the relaxation time of a photo induced current under UV iridation by applying a small voltage. How many of you actually understand that? Come on. Just saying. I'm guessing most of you are in the same boat as me and that's just gibberish talk to you. I'm just excited for AI. I'm, I'm excited to see what it, it actually does. So the next article here, retailer confirms the Intel i9-14900KS CPU having 6.2 gig, gig, gigahertz. That's tech dweeb. He's a cool guy. I like watching his videos. Oh my goodness, man. It's warm in here. Whew. Dying. I, I don't know why. I sweat more when I'm standing up. It doesn't make sense. Like with my stand-up desk. Um... I need it. I need to stand up though because I got I'm like sitting here editing videos for all like freaking seven different channels, dude. <laughs> so my back starts to hurt when I sit down, but I like when I'm standing, they start to sweat more. But anyway, that's really all I need to say about this. Um, a release day is going to be March 2024. At some point, it's going to have 24 cores up to 6.2 gigahertz. And then this right here is a bunch of we've already covered all of this stuff, but for those of you that may have not seen that, video this is um this is what you can expect from the actual cpu it's right here prices of stuff and then this right here benchmarks of stuff Boop. all right cool and then this right here nvidia is the gpu cartel says former amd employee so i thought this was funny because I was, okay, here it is. So the rival firm says NVIDIA AI customers are scared to be seen courting other AI chip makers for fear of retaliatory shipment delays. And this guy says, this happens more than you expect. NVIDIA does this with DC customers, OEMs, AIBs, press and resellers. They learned from GPP to not put it into writing. They just don't ship after a customer has ordered. They are the GPU cartel and they control all supply. So this is actually a pretty big deal because the video that we made the other day with Nvidia taking over, um, or was, was it that one? I had to swap the title to the 7900 GRE because, uh, I forget, I forget, uh, what is it? This one is, I know it's this one right here. And it started to perform really well as soon as I swapped the title. So this is the video that I was talking about. All right. So, oh my goodness. How much do I have to zoom in to uncrop that? Hold up. Boom. Let's just do this. <laughs> so this right here. And then I got like comments. Oh, this guy literally covered it for like 30 seconds. Bro, I literally have my timestamps in the description. Like you can literally just see the point where, where you want to go. Like... I just do the, the the comments are kind of getting to me it's, it's like nothing i do is right apparently um but really uh that's all i thought i just thought that was funny and then the last thing dude i just think this messed up and i'm not going to go too far into this because i know it's super controversial and i understand the nintendo switch is new and i totally understand why nintendo is doing this i get it man but like they should not be going after yuzu and the developers of yuzu you know what i mean they should be going after people like I don't, I don't even know the, the, whatever the websites are that are like, actually like including these games for people to download. You know what I mean? Like that's who they should be going after because emulator you, one Yuzu is open source, but I mean, I understand why they're doing it, dude. I just think it's messed up, but it's going to bring us to the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. Again, I apologize if there's like some stuff that I may have taken out 
of me trying to improve my content, but I'm not going to try improving my content and changing up my titles and changing up my thumbnails and all this stuff dude because unfortunately man those things i, I got seven other channels dude i understand how youtube works okay so if something's not working i'm not gonna do it okay <laughs> just common sense so yeah dude catch you guys in the next one peace